I finally go live in Japan. Oh my god. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dor and I'm moving to Japan. I'm going to do a relocation. I'm so excited right now. I want to share with you about everything I will do in the relocation in Japan. So make sure you like this video and subscribe and together let's start this journey. First thing we're going to talk about is how even it's possible to do a relocation to Japan. And after that we will pack the luggage and talk about things that are really important to take and think that I will must have to give up on them. I'm so excited right now. So a few months ago, I was in a big trip for six months and I've been in Japan, South Korea, Thailand, the US and more. But I decided that I want to live in Japan. Japan is an amazing country. It's so comfortable to live there. And I said to myself, if I will go to Japan and work as a freelancer, as a content creator, and will get payment in US dollars or in euros, I could live very conveniently in Japan. So I stopped everything and I was thinking about what should I need to do, what should I work in to go and live in Japan and I decided that I will be a YouTube channel manager and a YouTube creator. So I help others with their YouTube channels and I have another gaming channel, but now I will focus on this channel because this is the most important to me. I start a new life, I want to document it. I want to show you guys, I want to film everything. I want to share with you my journey on YouTube and social media. So I decided to take my stuff and go to Japan to be a student in a language school. I think if I love Japan, if I want to go there and live there for the long term, or only for two years and see if everything will be okay. I need to study Japanese because Nihongo Anashimasen. Now, I also taking my winter clothes. I know it's summer in Japan right now. I will not use them, but I'm thinking about the long term. Only summer clothes don't take a lot of space in the luggage. And of course I can buy winter clothes when it will be the season in Japan. I'm going as a freelancer, I'm going as a student, I will not have a full-time job, so I need to think about the budget, I need to think maybe I should take with me the stuff that I already have instead of buying over there. I can save a lot of money and if I have enough space, I should take it with me. After searching for a few ways to do a relocation to Japan because I can't just go there and live and be illegal, right? So I needed to find a solution for it. If it's like working visa, working holiday visa, student visa. And after a research that I did, I saw that the student visa is very easy to get. And I said, okay, I really want to learn Japanese. I can go there study in a language school and be legal in Japan. So I searched how to do it and I found a guy who works in a company in Japan, in Tokyo, and he helped me and I sent him all the documents he needed, all the files, totally free. I made sure that it's not a scam because I think there are some scammers, but he's from my country, he's very loyal, and he helped me and after a few months of this process and send files and everything that was really clear to do i got a student visa now i can go to japan my flight is in a few days and i will live there i already have the apartment already have the language school that i go to i have the visa and i know everything i need to do when i will land in japan and i will make a video about it how to get the working visa what to buy to the apartment and any kind of video that you will ask for me, I will try and do it. So, what should I take with me to Japan? I need to pack my luggage. My luggage is already here and I've been in Japan already. So I have the experience that what can I get there and what I can't get there. So it was really good that I was there. And I think the most important thing that you can take with you is if you have any kinds of medicines that only for you, don't forget to take them. Go to the doctor and ask for general medicines that you might have difficult times to find it in Japan. So take your medicines at least for the first year 
until you will understand what's going on in Japan, how it works, what, which medicines that you need for emergency. So the most important thing, your medicines. Now what I'm taking with me that I know that I can't get it in Japan and I'm sure you didn't think about it. And I'm talking about my shoes. It sounds funny, but I'm a really large size in shoes. If I'm talking in a Japanese size, so it's 31 centimeters. If I'm talking about Europe size, it's around 47, 48, something like this. And it's really difficult to find it in Japan. When I was there, I needed to buy a shoes and I didn't find it at all. So I need to take a lot of shoes with me for at least two years because who knows if I will find there or not. Now, if you also do relocation to any place, check how you different from others, because if you wear big size t-shirts, make sure you have this size in the country, or I don't know, anything that you think that might not have in the country that you're going to, search for it. If you don't have, take it with you from your own. Things I should not take with me. Shampoo bottles, soap bottles, bed sheets, like blanket. I can buy all this stuff over there and it's very heavy. I have no reason to take this kind of stuff. So what did I do? I only have bed, I don't have the mattress, but I can go to Amazon Japan and buy everything over there. It's very cheap and the delivery is free and in a matter of one or two days maximum. So before the flight, I will go to Amazon Japan and buy everything I need. Also, I need to say goodbye to my anime figures that I really love in my room. I can't take it with me. It takes a lot of space and I go to Japan, the country of the anime. I can buy there whatever I want and enjoy the figures in Japan and give up on the things that I have in my room. Maybe I will give it to someone. Now I would like to return to the thing that I must take with me. I almost forgot to mention it, but this is the most important thing. I need to take the school certificates, the visa, the contract of the apartment, and also I have a file for the job. If I want to work in Japan, I need to fill a file. Of course, I will make a separate video about it, but let's say all the files, the important files, I need to take with me the international driving license, organize all the files that I can't forget to take and put it first thing in the bag so I will not forget because I like to forget things. So good that I remember to put it in the video, now I will not forget. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed and if you did please like this video and subscribe because I will make a lot of videos about my journey to Japan and I can't wait to share everything with you. See you in the next video, goodbye!